Oh, I should I should mention that this plus equals is the same as same as that. So count plus equals one is the same as count equals count plus one. Just um, just in case you were wondering how that works. But otherwise, if we continue, count count less than three. Yep, two is less than three. Go into the loop again. Print count times five, that's 10, count plus equals one, three, count less than three, that's false, finish the loop, goes to the end. And that's the end of my program. So if you notice, this is, this count plus equals one, that's our increment, because that's the thing that somehow will change whether our while boolean condition will become false. Let's say if I didn't have this guy here, right? If I just commented it out, it would be a very different program because what would happen is I would initialize count to zero. I will while count as a three, correct? Print count times five, print it. And then, okay, I'm done. Go back to the top. Count is still less than three, print zero. And then you can see where this is going. We're going to just keep on getting an infinite loop of zeros being printed all the way down until you decide to close your program. But because we have that count plus equals one and that increment, that helps us to get out of the loop. And basically what this comment um, here is, is to show you guys um, just the fact that the thing is actually getting incremented. But I've kind of done it up here, so I don't really want to go through it for the sake of time. But if you have any questions on how um, while loops work, feel free to ask any of us. So that's the general structure of these things. What I'll give you is a quick overview of an application of it, and we'll get on to the exercises. So def main, this looks like a program that's going to give you, if something's a leap here. Couple of things to note. Here is assign get yep user. What does this thing do? Here equals input over int. Cool. That's, that's simple enough. While year not equals zero. Uh, why would I need that? Well, that's because my program wants me to know that I can type in as many years as I want. And if I want to stop running the program, I can just type zero and it will finish. Cool, cool beans. Um, display whether leap year. Cool, that's a function over here. And then at the end of it, so we'll go to that later, but at the end of it, you see year equals get year from user. And because year is what we're being checked um, for our Boolean condition in the while loop, that's why we want to be able to reassign it inside the loop. That's why we say year equals. Uh, sorry, has, has assigned this guy, and we go back here and get a new input from the user. And that's how, eventually, if the user wants to stop, then you just press zero, and it's done. Um, display with a leap here. So here we have um, just the display of the thing. So we've got a variable here called is a leap here. It's actually going to be a Boolean um, value, so it's going to be true or false. It's going to be assigned check if leap here. And that is a, another function. And this function returns either true or false based on whether the leap year pass is actually a leap year. Does anyone want to tell me what a leap year is? I don't know, I'm just going to read what this is. Does anyone know what a leap year is? <coughs> when that year is divisible by 400 or 4? Yeah. 400 or 4, yeah. It's like every, four, every year that's divisible by 4, but not by. Um, a hundred. So it's like every fourth year, except for like um, every hundredth year that's divisible by, that isn't divisible by four hundred. Basically right, yeah. So our condition here shows, and don't write it like this, actually write it in one whole line, just in that space. If year is um, divisible by four hundred, like, like perfectly, if that's true, great. Or um, the year is divisible by four, and the year is not divisible by 100 at the same time. So that's kind of how it works. And then that will be a leap year, you return true, otherwise, see that's what I use, I use the word otherwise to describe else. Otherwise, return false. So that will go back here, it would check my boolean condition. So all, what I want you to notice here is that I have, um, what has been written is if is a leap year. It's just the, the variable itself. And I didn't write equals equals true. I could have. But 
the if else statements um, in Python, they just they assume what you mean is if you put a variable there, it will check if it evaluates the true. Even if you put like equals equals, it's still checking if the whole thing because your variable is either going to be true or false. It will just work because it will evaluate. Is it true? Cool. Is it leap year? Otherwise, you want to go to the next one and print. It's not a leap year. So that's kind of just a few things that I want you to notice. The this part here with the variable and that's how this while loop is being used. But otherwise, that's it. Does anyone have any questions? Cool, cool. All right. So now we're going to move on to uh, lab exercises and.